Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way. And we creating content every damn day. Man, hey, man, we got some guys in here today don't need no introduction. You know what I mean? These guys, uh, to be honest with you, they on the internet. You can look them up, Google them, whatever you want to do, man. But let me say this first before we introduce them. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you check us out. Uh, make sure you go and hit our Patreon up. Make sure you become a member on YouTube, all that good stuff. Now that that's out the way, we got some guys here today that don't need no introduction. Uh, Life, is that the, that's the name of the uh, the whole label? Absolutely. This guy's an attorney, too. I'm going to tell the truth, guys. This, this You might need this dude one day if you get in trouble, man. <laughs> that's the best thing about it. Attorney David Hudson is in the building. He got his... Artist DJ is in the building. Sagittarius, baby. DJ. Man. He in there. Man, DJ, man, what's going on? You on Boss Talk 101, man. This couldn't happen. Hey, uh, you know. gotta be linked in hey, to get hey, on here. Hey, hey, it's live. It's live. It's live. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really. Man, so man, um, so man, I, like I said, I already got his story. He has a, a dope interview. You guys can go check that out, man. Um, I, I might, you know. I, I would suggest you check it out because he got a hell of a story and we still trying to pull it all out of him. It's all he gonna be a frequent of the show. So we ain't gotta worry about uh attorney Hudson. He coming back. <laughs> <Not ready. laughs> but um just your story though, man, like being from uh Waco. Yes. Like sir. like like just give me uh, you came up, single parent home or, or, or mother and father within the home. What's up yeah. with you? Like how you end up uh, uh uh as a child, how did you come up? Yeah, um, my my parents went together, but they both was in my life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I got my daddy and my mama. I ain't never discredited my daddy. My mama and my daddy had their differences, but I grew up to seeing on my own. And, hey, man, they I had, they they both was with me, two real people. Man. So stayed by me all the way till now, shoot, forever. Okay. Who you stay with? My mama or your daddy? Myself. No, nah, you ain't stay with yourself when you were young. Oh, you talking about when I was young? Yeah, oh, yeah no, nah, I stayed with my mama. I, but then I, I moved with my daddy, though. But then I moved back with my mom. Okay, and because I was like that. Yeah. Yeah, because my daddy pissed me off. I go stay yeah, with my mom. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? If she yeah. didn't do right, I go back with my daddy. Yeah. yeah. If they didn't do right, I go with my grandma. Nah, for, nah this the granny, is how you nah, granny, granny is, that's when I moved with my granny, because now one of them get me back in the house. Correct, because she cooking, yeah, and then yeah. she got them heavy blankets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. These niggas got light bait. Grandma yeah. got the heavy blanket. She, she right? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> she she hard on you, but hey. But she got man. a heavy blanket. She going to have dinner ready at the right time. Every time she on time. She ain't like mama. Mm -hmm. Mama, she might cook today. She might not. Grandma on no, point. I ain't going to lie. My mama going to cook, though. She going to cook it's like just, grandma. Just the thing she that, learned from my mama. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing, though. When right. I was living with my mama, she was teaching me stuff. I lived with my daddy. He was teaching me stuff, but shoot, Granny, the one that was teaching them, they teach this. She she teach my mom and them. She could teach me. I, I rather, you know what I'm saying. Everything was good though. All of them played their part. I I just I, I value you know family and our family. You know, far as uh, people that look like me. You know, uh, being able to talk about our ups and downs, the trials in life, but then still saying, but we made it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We still here. We yes, still got sir. a story to tell. Yes, so, sir. like, like when you get when you get to school, tell me about that time when old boy jumped on you and took your lunch money, <laughs> nah, nigga. I ain't no you know, nah, nigga. Took nigga. your lunch we money. We did nigga. the jump. You <laughs> take a lunch money, and they ain't took it. <laughs> nigga probably got stole something. Nah, nah, nah. Nigga probably stole something when I wasn't looking. <laughs> nigga ain't taking nothing. <laughs> we used to do the taking. But how you know, like coming up down there, like did you feel like when I get older, I'm gonna try to get out from in Waco, or did you feel mm -hmm. like this where I'm gonna be reside? Nah, I wanted to. Get I want to move out. I want to I get away. So. I'm gonna get away. I'm, I'm, I, ain't, I don't think there's nobody planning to grow up there and stay there. I mean, Correct. I'm gonna move somewhere else, but I'm gonna keep it with me. I'm just, I ain't gonna be there. It's gonna be with me now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. Because yeah. I, I just look at being from a small country town, like, uh, and you from Monroe oh, and right. all that. Like, you be like, man, when I get up, I'm getting out of here, bro. Like, <laughs> you, and you see the same niggas every day. Every, every day. Same thing. Everything. Everybody looked. It's like, man, this dude is he really? Man, 
He's still here. Mm. He didn't make it out. <laughs> nah, for real. <laughs> Them be examples. I don't want to be like that. Or if uh, you see somebody that end up getting on drugs or something that you never would have thought. Yeah. And they be like, damn, he on drugs? Like, I thought he would. And he, they might have voted him most. He was almost most likely right. to succeed. Yeah. I can always tell you, the ones that's in school doing good in, in, in school, them the ones that become drug dealers. I mean, them the ones that become drug addicts. And the ones, all of them. Man, most of them and the ones that the ones that have actually been <laughs> bad at school they don't want to be most this successful this nigga say the ones <laughs> that yes if you in a small town say that again the ones who the ones that in, good in school, school make all age most of them or most of them become crackheads or the streets. yeah they, because, because, the because the they, they actually get being good doing good and when they get older they don't know how to take it like some just fall back Fall back to it. And Cause it's when you that. in school, you in the environment every day is on you. Like yep. you got people, different class, different teachers, coaches on you. They be on you. But then when you graduate and be in the in a real world, it's like you by yourself. So it's yep. like now nah, I ain't got nothing to prove to this person. When I can't talk to this person when I'm get in trouble. Or, nah, then they, shoot, they turn to the streets. And that's mm -hmm. where they mess up at. All right, I, I just want to you know, like I said, I, I want to feel where you're from because I went down there and I talked with. Uh, Waco, uh, Tron, Gio, uh, um, also uh, Timo, he came up here. Um, like, were these some inspirational guys that you seen that had done it, or did I know you probably don't work with them because y'all all from down there? Yeah. So that that ain't hard. Don't try to make that like it's a big deal. It's not. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, you can go around the corner and yeah, knock yeah. on that nigga house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, I'm trying to yeah. do something right now. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, man, we went to school together. Yeah. That's not hard. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. For okay. <laughs> they just older than me though. But like, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Like all of them. Yeah, they rapping, popping, they doing that thing. They. Shoot, I feel like I seen them doing. I'm like, man, I can yeah. do it too. Man. Shoot, like, it ain't nothing like it ain't nothing. Yeah, it ain't nothing bad. Shoot, yeah, I can call them all now too, and they rock. Want to do something? And then we, they probably, I can't speak for the next man, but most likely they'll do something with me, and it'll be hard. That's what's up. Man. Yeah, they, like, they all hard. Getting into the music, like you know, we got a part time rapper over here. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he rap. Listen, 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 man, I'm going. When he, I leave. He consistent now for the last <clears throat> month and a half, and he think I'm gonna fall for, but I'm not. Mm. Now I'm you gonna talk about. To. I want to see the results, uh, the fruits of his labor I'm when it come around. When the project <laughs> drops, I'm gonna prove him wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna prove him wrong. And the project, I'm telling you, they're gonna drop. The project, oh, the project is going plug. to drop. Shameless plug. The, the project is going to drop April 17th on my birthday. Oh, here All we right. go. I already got the, song. the songs already ready. I'm gonna check it out. They already ready. Cause we finna drop it. You gotta check us out too. I am. So I we, am. Hey, I check you out. You check us out. I got you. I ain't got no problem doing it. Yeah. I'm just gonna see, man. You know, I just I'm just riding the waves. April seventeenth. You gonna 7. be happy? That's yeah. how they be on. They be on us hard. That's hey, real man, we the can't. Hey, we need to. Yeah, hey. hey. Just watch. That's how I'm gonna call you one day. I'm gonna put him on the phone, yeah. and he might Listen, tell I'm you if now. this rap. I, I'm single now. <laughs> I, mean, I might tell you. I'm single now. I might, I might say fuck this rap. It might be a song too. No, did you yeah. hear what he just said? Wait a minute. He say he's single now. Yeah. He just got single yeah, two did. weeks ago. Yeah. Nah, it been a month. It been how long? About a month. But it ain't been no month. Yeah. It ain't been no month. Two yeah. weeks ago he became yeah. single. Nah, mm -hmm. about a month. And he's hard on it right now, guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it, listen, I, listen. I'm not going back. So I ain't worried about that. I'm not hey. going back. Yeah. So, so just, just uh, tell me, like, like, when did you feel like I'm gonna rap? This is what I'm gonna do. This is this is what, what I want. I always like. See, at first I was scared to rap. I but I used to always write. And I rap it to my grandma or my mom and them or something. They'd be like, "Yeah, this hard." And they'd tell everybody, and then. And over time, I was like, man, then my cousin, to go back to the studio, my big cousin, he'll be in the studio, and, and he'll be rapping. He'll be like, man, DJ, you showed me something you wrote. Rap it out here. And I'll be like, man, nah. And then, like, 20, uh, 17, 18, I was like, man, I'm finna get on there. And I got on there. And I started rapping, then everybody, a lot of people in my city started fucking with it, started, started rocking with it. And ever since then, I've just been running with it. Wow. Rolling with it. So uh, I want to uh, th let's go back into it, man. Sorry about that, you guys. But no, just man, um, being a, a fear, fear is a false belief. You know that. Mm -hmm. So the fear going into something, you are, you know already that's not real. So mm -hmm. for you to go into, but you but you understand when you get in it, it's something that is some it's some competition in it. Yeah. Did you play football? Yeah. Did you fear like when you first that first game, man? That you was, got hit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it be though too. When you get on that nervous, and then yep. when you get hit, you like, all right, I'll, I'll come on now, I'm ready now. 
She didn't even knock that out of me. <laughs> like, that's crazy. You know, I, ain't never been, I ain't never been in the field on a field football field. Yeah, there be a lot of people like that. I'm dead serious. I've never been in the field. So when you touch the field, so when your first time get on the field, that first game, you ain't get that little scale. I be ready. No, I be ready to get hit. So mm-hmm. I can go ahead and go ahead and like, okay, let's go. I've been wanting to get hit for like, the hardest person on the field already. So I can right. go ahead and get out the way. So when they hit me, I'm like, oh, okay, it's cool, let's go. But I'm not nervous or scared. I'm, I be looking for them. I want to go across the middle. Like, I'm going to receive them. I want to yeah. hit me. Hit me. I want, I want like, back in the day when Ray Lewis was playing, that's how I want to play. Like, it's too soft now, so I won't even play no more. Uh, yeah. I want to get hit hard. Real Didn't old. you just get hit and hurt your, get hurt on the game? He, he Wait, like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't yeah. you just get hit and hurt in the football game? Yeah, what that mean though? Did Career you say you, did, you know you you were out there playing and you got hit and you got hurt, but you say you don't want to play no more? What that mean? It's part, that's the part of the game, getting hurt. Okay, that's part of the game. But I'm just trying to figure. Out, I thought because you said when Ray Lewis played, like that was the part. Then you just quit, but you no. just was playing. You right, I'm 32. And you got they hit. Came and I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> you got to understand. You realize see, I broke it up. But listen, oh, it wasn't even that. It was my hand. I need my hand for work. I had to go to work. So I can't keep doing that. Messing myself up for and that. And just so y'all know, if y'all ever want to play football against a money Moses, he played for, what is that, semi-pro nobody. league? Semi-pro nobody. league. Yeah, nobody. Nobody. No insurance. He just out there. Nobody. These niggas going to kill each other. Yeah. Nobody. They out there banging each other up. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is why I stopped playing. Living their football myself. dreams at 30-something yeah. nah, years old. He got old. hit. He wanted to play flag after that. <laughs> no, no. I, 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 ain't know, I ain't know it was hurting until like, after the game. Like, it really was broke. <laughs> That's the gentleman. Yeah, he called me. Though, though. He he called broke. me. He said, it's bro- I think it's broke. It's still I think it's broke. This part right here still hurt to this day. I don't care about it. I can still be going. His mind was made up on quitting Why on that car, too. you breaking your hand at 30 <laughs> trying to play football with no insurance out there with no, these grown no, folks? Hold on. I got insurance. I got insurance on myself. Self, self, you yeah, wouldn't get it. I'm yeah. talking about yeah, this yeah, league yeah, where it. people out there right. taking people away in ambulances when we don't know if they got insurance or not. Right. I, seen a, I seen a dude die on the field last week, week four last. Oh, he died? And he came back to life again. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm finna say. I thought he fought through that. No, he did, but he died on the field. Yeah, he died on the field, man. He did. Mm-hmm. Twice. Mm-hmm. Twice. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just saying, I don't know if I want to play with, with with nobody if that insurance good for the whole, that they pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I understand it. That's why I ain't playing no more. Because <laughs> that money coming out of my pocket, not the else. <laughs> this boss talk, y'all. No, y'all there? No, no, no. <laughs> so, I mean, like, like so so you got you you got into the rap. Um. Uh. Who was the first person that you you know you you work with for as engineering up there in Waco? My big cousin. Show him some love. Yeah. Hey. Shout out to Big Holder. That my big brother, big cousin. The same. I call him my big brother, but we blood cousins. She. He would pay. That's the first person to show me how to how they look. How they she look. Being in the mic, computer, all that. He, he was the first one that did that for me. And after that, shoot, he taught me, and I ran with it. Man, Mr. Dave, what's going on? What's up, T? Bro, I, well, last time I seen you, you ain't said nothing about no label or nothing. You, Absolutely. <laughs> but I just, just like, what, what made you decide I'm going to start a label like Life? And the, I love the name, you know? Absolutely. But just give me the spiel on what made you start it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, even as a, as a youngster, I always, I grew up in the era of Master P, and Shug and Jay and all those guys. So, but I didn't. I didn't even know it was a business. I just listened to the music, right? So on and on. You know, when you uh, back then when you opened up the CD case, you look at the credits, you start seeing all this extra stuff in fine print that at the time didn't make sense. So I started asking questions. And so fast forward when I was in college back when you know Rockefeller Records and all those guys, Murder Inc. and all those guys started blowing up. I always wanted a label anyway. But in addition to that, I always had a knack for, I felt like it was a way I could go back home and pull some people up with me, some youngsters. Mm. Let's work. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, you, you, so you, you, you said, I'm gonna start this label. How difficult was it to even start a, like a label? Not difficult at all. Not difficult, it's more so about the relationships. Okay. And a lot of relationships I have as an attorney overlapped over into this as well. Wow, that, that's hard. I mean, and I know already, uh, shout out Mr. Lee. Absolutely. I, I know some banging beats coming. If ain't nothing else coming, Absolutely. it's going to be some banging beats coming. <laughs> Absolutely. How do, you, how do you pick your orders? Um, it's kind of, so take DJ for instance. I grew up in the same neighborhood with DJ's mom, 
his cousins, his uncles, etc. One of his cousins in particular, I used to roll with real, real tough or whatever. He actually inspired me to get some real money. You understand what I'm saying? So I remember when DJ was born. So we both from South Waco, Texas or whatever. So it's almost like a legacy thing thing there. And I'm, so when I heard that he was rapping, of course, of course I'm going to tap in. Um, but the process is a few things. First thing is, are you going to be free? Because I can't put my money behind someone who's not free. What are you involved in? You know, if you out there real heavy in the streets, then I can't throw my money in a black hole. You understand what I'm saying? Um, what what you thinking? Your mental. What is your mind like? Because at the same time, you can be into something, but are you okay with getting out of it and doing something on the other side, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's mainly nowadays, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Because if a lot of these youngsters, if they're not going to jail, they, they're not, they're getting killed. Uh, these days, for instance, in, being that we're from the same neighborhood, who are you into it with, if anybody? You understand what I'm saying? If it's, it's just so far gone where maybe I can tap in and sit down and smooth it over, you know, or if it's one of those incidents where blood's been shed, it may be nothing to smooth over. Now I have to make a decision where I'm going to rock with you and say bump it, it is what it is. Uh, it, you know what I mean? So it's just a recipe that's kind of like the gumbo because um, it's talent. It's not a shortage of talent. It's talent sure, everywhere. Not, it's everywhere. You know what I mean? So what do I feel is my best investment? And then that's how we're going to rock. Wow. I mean, you know, just just to see you bringing brothers together and sisters together is something to commend. There's a sense of unity when you look at labels, brothers that start labels. This really, for me, brothers that's coming together, sisters that's coming together. I look at it on a whole nother level. And I look at the, the, <clears throat> the significance of entrepreneurship in the midst of it as well. So it's a great thing to see you collectively come up with something and build something and create something that you can put an umbrella over some of our young people's head. Absolutely. That's what I look at. Absolutely. You know, I'm deep. Absolutely. Niggas know me. They say, that nigga got to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, nah, that's real, though. Because <laughs> you, you got to understand that, that our people need that. You know, a lot of things disconnected us from our sense of unity. Back in the days when I was young, you walk in the store, you see another brother, you, what's up? Mm-hmm. You go in the restaurant and, and I'm eating with a different group of people. You see a brother in there, you say, what's up? What's up, man? What, what's up? You might not even know it. Right. But it's the sense of we, we brothers and we in here. That's something I still do to this day. Do you do it? Yeah, I do it, but it's hard sometimes. What you mean? Because when you look at a young person these days, you just like, look at him. First time he's going to like, what you looking at? No, you just say, what's up? I understand that, but some had that mentality like, what you looking at, bro? Like, I get it, I mean, but, but just because this. one does that don't mean all I mean, of them I, I, I'm you know still talking to him, just like I did on the internet the other day. I tell the dude, like, bro, it's positivity, bro. Stop doing being negative. Yeah. Like, but, I don't like that being But you no definitely more. don't want to not, you know, try to try to throw that. We know we hard. We exactly. done been through so much. All our people, we ain't got nothing to prove with our own people, man. No, we got to stop that, man. I, I really hope that somebody will see this and be like, man, you know, you're right, man. You know, everybody ain't got, we hard, but a lot of a lot of people that's doing all this hard stuff is, is living with their mama, ain't never been in trouble. And mm-hmm. they seen it on TV That's somewhere. the best way to be. They seen it somewhere on TV and they feel like they want to say it. Or, or, or act it because they didn't seen it. They don't really live it like that. Right. That brother just left here, live it. Right. Lived it. Right. And has changed his life around. Bro, I, Certain I people that lived that happened it. happened to me when I was in jail. And it was crazy. These two white dudes came in there. Like, one of them came in there and said, Wait down. a minute. Oh, what time listen. was you in jail? Man, I don't even know. I can't tell you what time okay, it was. Okay, let's go. It was a white dude that came in there. Another white dude walked in there with him. And he was looking at each other. And he was like, Brother, what's wrong? Like, he, he stared at him. And he was like, Brother, what's wrong? Can I help you with something? The same, that's like 30 minutes later, a black dude came in there. Another black dude came in there. And he was like, bro, what's up? What you looking at, bro? You got something on your chest? I'm like, damn, bro. He just came here and said he's trying to help this man. But you came here and said you're trying to help this man. I'm like, what's the difference? Yeah. And I'm like, no, Saudi, I'm like, bro, we, we got we to gotta do better, bro. We have to do better as a razor because it's like, ain't no way in hell you could have came in there and said that. And he didn't do nothing to you at all. I agree with that. We trying to get out of jail. You, you in jail talking about like this, bro. Most of like, you I say like I don't agree with, but that <laughs> one thing that you you got me on point on. Because, I, bro, I got to change too. Hey, this boy's having like, a, bro, I Wait a minute, we're having bro. a breakthrough. <laughs> 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 I 
I gotta change, bro. Because listen, I can't keep, that, yeah, I can't keep doing it. Keep talking like this. Yeah. That brother say I bro, got, to got to change. I have to because if I I can't keep preaching like, preaching that and then go back in the street and do the same thing I'm, I'm preaching. Like I can't do that, bro. That's all. So like I gotta I wish, show positivity. I have to. I wish all our brothers would come up and say, man, you know what? I gotta change. You know what I'm saying? That's it, hard. It's man. easy to do wrong. It's easy to do wrong. I try. Easy. People out of here that man. So let's get back to the guests because we done made this all about money. Mode. No, we didn't. Did you see that? That was a right. situation. No, that was a positive situation, bro. Don't Very make positive. It about me. <laughs> 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 no. So um, just um, man, DJ man. I know already. Uh, we're gonna be waiting. When is the when is the, the single out already? Yeah, I got like you pushing something out right now. I got like two out right now. When did they come out? Couple. Couple months ago, like we okay time? came out in yeah, July, it, and then the song with Hot Boy West came out in probably September. What's yeah. the name of that song with Hot Boy West? Uh, my side, my side. Y'all both from the same side? No, nah, uh, he from the north. I'm from the south. How did y'all link up to do that? We, I mean, we from the same city. We we cool. I, I, I'm cool with him. He cool with me. I say, hey, I got this track. Hey, jump on it. Hey, cool. Come on. Jumped in there, did our thing on there, and hey, hey, we rocked that. Man, so you guys, man, um, y'all jumped on it. You know, he jumps off, y'all jump off. I know y'all trying to see who got the hardest verse on that thing. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, it was, yeah. was going to yeah, be hard. Nah, now, nah, we going to stick out the pants out. Nah, nah, yeah, the people I'm going that the people, the people my, can do hey, that. I'm going to drop my verse. Hey, now nah, look, this is how it was. <laughs> we, we, we was like, we going to make a hard song, and we are going to let the people say what they want, just as long as it's hard. We don't care who verse is hard. That's, that's a blessing. Just, we both just have to do our thing, because it's man. I, I like I said I, I think man when they look I think Hot Boy West is one of the hardest from I'm being real uh, maybe in the South for me and from the youngsters I'm being real because of the work he done put in and the way the way that he bring that rawness of who he is that that's something I tell her about all it's only a few people that done sit on here where I could feel the fact that they still who they say they is and they ain't holding back on nothing yeah. they giving it to you everything is really what it is and now yeah. I don't care what I say yeah. I'm gonna give it to you like that, and I might not even should have said mm-hmm. that. You yeah. don't care to make him look bad. He hey, 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 where you? Yeah. Hey, hey, where we come from? We let you know what it is, whether it hurts you or make you feel good. Wow, as long as it's real, is you you take it how you want to take it. We are gonna keep it 100 every time. Wow, though. um, I just like that. I'm glad y'all collab, man. And so so y'all y'all met up in the studio. Y'all in the Simverse, Y'all did it together in the studio. Nah, we. We sent the verse in. He, cause you know he he, he be on the move. Yeah, he be so moving. He did wherever he went. Did it. Sent it back. Got it. Got it popped. Yeah. And what about the video? He we met. We was both in Waco. Well, he was on his way to Waco, and I was already there. And then we just once he got there, we called each other, whatever. Linked up. Only got that out the way. That's so hard. Man. Went back about our own own stuff. We do. That's hard, man. Um, who else would you like to work with? <clears throat> it don't have to be in Waco either. Anybody. I want to be. DJ, I who be, else would you like to work with? Let, 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 let me explain it. Look, I just because you know you got some rappers that be like, man, I don't want to work such. I want to be the one that one rapper that's able to say, I got everybody on the track. I got everybody on the song. You want to be as you want to be like ESG when he did that Southside Steel. Yeah, yeah, like you know, you know, put everybody on that. Man. I ain't, but I ain't, everybody jump on that. Hey, thing. you hard? Hey, you you hard? I'm hard too. You like this beat? Let's get on. It. Come on. Come on, either we can do it. What about that one when JD said y'all want to ball with us? He had Welcome to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then he went where, New York. All them niggas yeah. were jumping yeah. on the track together. All them did they thing too. Them guys they did their thing. Nah, no, for real. I like that. I said, we need to get back but to that. I was just right. say, you just made me a. We need to get back song. to that. <clears throat> that's that's even on another level of unifying. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are they not thinking this whole thing supposed to bring us together as a people. Mm-hmm. That's right. For real, so man, um, yeah, we gonna get into it, man. Yeah, yeah I got, I, I'm gonna get these sixteen bars out of you. Uh, yeah, yeah, see yeah, what you're talking about it. right here. Y'all want to play games? <coughs> Y'all want to ball with us? Let me see. We're gonna ball forever. Yeah, man. Let me see. Hold on. Take uh, it, man. Hey, man. man Say, man. Boss Talk One Hundred and One on. in the I building, man. Mic. DJ in the building, man. Let's go, man. Waco, man. This one for you. Mm. Mm. I woke up like fuck it today. I don't get some money today. I mean, give me some money today. Yeah. Come on now. Finesse me a dummy today. 
These niggas stuck in their ways No longer can't fuck with the fate Man, I hate when a nigga trying to make a change And them people be stuck on this past tense Trying to build up a fan base and ring out my name Cause you already know I ain't had shit I ain't say shit about money Cause long as you thumping You know that shit come with this rap shit I'll pop to the holder Cause he the real reason I know what to do in this trap shit Let's Know go. how to get 20 and make it a hundred I swear I'm a fool in this trap shit And I never tell on my partners nobody I know what to do when I'm mad shit And I never say this shit out of my league Cause I know what to do with a bad bitch If a bitch ain't my piece Then that shit ain't for me I'm a lead cause I'm through with that mad shit Look at the sky, thank God that he blessed me Took all the losses I took as a lesson I'ma give game, I can't even be selfish To grow as a person, you gotta be better Got what with fam, nigga shoulda knew better I told you some secrets and I shoulda kept them Weezy be tweaking and get to that level You think he a capital, the way he be stepping I get to slapping whoever, wherever You think you gon' come up to me, disrespect it right. She had to say this shit more than one time But you speak on the hold of this shit can get reckless No not to come to the south on that dumb shit I say what I want and I mean when I said it I can't go out like a crown that's pathetic I took my mama through hell, I regret it Let's just be honest and make an exception The ARC gone and I gotta accept it It be some days that I be wanna call But I know we in heaven, it ain't no reception I seen a ghost that appeared in the picture When my nephew Chetra had opened this present It took the breath out of me, see it First I ain't see it, my auntie had pointed out his jacket Man, I know it, hold on, man rapping. Bitch, I jumped right in the boot with some passion Bitch, I sat right on that block with a package of skeleton some baggage, just waiting on some action Man, I see everybody else passing But my brother leaving, I just couldn't imagine Give me a paper towel, tissue, and napkin To wipe away tears, but it won't make them vanish I ain't gonna lie, I dropped so many tears that I could've made puddles the size of Atlantic. I made them puddles to puddles of madness. I had it bundled out covered in plastic. I had to cut off some niggas so my shit wouldn't see. Give a fuck about that shit, I'm the captain. Had a little cousin who liked to skip school and smoke weed. I said, fuck all that shit, go to practice. I made it happen. Know how to keep the shit going, niggas sleeping on me, get a mattress. Tell them I love them. I ever told you that shit, I want acting cause I ain't an actress. Missing my brother. I had to see that shit 2019. That shit was so tragic, I fought through the struggle. I really wish that Lahota could be here, but I'm a Stop playing, man. This nigga won't stop rapping. Bro, the nigga won't stop rapping. The nigga done took over the balls, talk one bro, on one. For real, y'all. Shut man. the mic down, man. Hey, DJ. Man, yeah. say, man, how I feel when you go down through that like that, man? Stop hey, playing, hey, man. Hey, hey, when it, when I tell you, when I feel it, I just go. Yeah, yeah I, I seen you gaining the road. I seen you, I seen you picking it up, picking yeah. it up, picking it up. I seen yeah. that, man. DJ. Hey. Man, Timo say he the hardest lyricist in Texas, man. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey, I heard that too. I pop my shit, but I ain't gonna lie to you. That nigga rap, Katie. That nigga can rap. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Timo can speak. Yeah, that boy go in, man. Love yeah, that man. dude, man. That's why I brought yeah. him on, man. I love y'all, man. Waco go hard, man. I'ma always show y'all love and respect. I, I rock with y'all. The rock, you know, like like I I don't know. Sometimes you don't pick. People, they pick you. The situation pick you. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I never thought I'd be dealing with a lot of the Waco, you know, talent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, that's what God gave me. So usually when, when I see that God give me something, I embrace it. So mm -hmm. from, from for me to deal with, you know, Waco Tron, for me to deal with Hot Boy West, Timo, now you, you know what I'm saying? Gio, he was on, he was early on for everybody. You know, like like for me to be dealing with you guys, man, and, and, and just to see the love and the respect that y'all have for Boss Talk 101 mean a lot, bro. And then this guy, yeah, the attorney. Name. Big brother. Old David. That's right. The giant killer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Say, man, you know, like like I said, man, it's just a blessing, bro. I thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate you. How can people Appreciate get a hold you, of you, man, if they try to link hey, in? Hey, man, uh, you can catch me on, on Instagram, Satir, baby underscore DJ, or on Facebook, really, I don't know, people still be doing that a lot, a lot, but you can catch me on uh, Dayjoy right on there. But I really be on Instagram, just catch me at Satir, baby underscore DJ, you know, I'm there. Man, say man, life, man, say man, thank you, Dave. Thank you so much, DJ, man. Appreciate you, man. It's love, man. You too, man. Love, man. Nah, hey, man, real. respect the connect. Y'all know I'm well connected and well respected in the city, man. Yeah, Stop yeah. playing, man. Nah, say, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk.